Good evening, fellow Americans, and welcome to the Oval Office, or as former President Bill Clinton used to call it, the Blow and Goal Room. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank very much my lovely, beautiful wife, Melena. Also, my three wonderful sons, Eric, Donald Jr., and Baron, as well as my two beautiful daughters, Ivanka and Tiffany for joining me here today. Thanks guys. For the second time during my presidency, North Korea leader Kim Jong-un has approved launching of nuclear testing missiles into the Eastern Sea. This is a direct violation of the United Nations sanction. And I'm saying now, not only as a member, a proud member of the United Nations, and as the United States President, stop it now. And if you don't, we're going to take your Lego set away for two weeks. Now, to President of Russia, Mr. Putin, our two countries can join together and fight terrorism in the world in the future. I look forward to that. We must extinguish ISIS and other terrorist groups that will end the world as we know it. And I must say off the record, I saw you vacationing on one of your lovely beaches in Russia. And I have to say, you have a lovely body, Vladimir. Now it's payback time for all the people that have insulted me, went out of their way to insult me, me, during my run to be president and some since. Let's start off with The View. Not this anymore. The View used to have its day. It used to be a great show when Barbara Walters ran it. And I thought it would become a great show once they finally got rid of that F.P. Rosie O'Donnell. You notice I didn't say the words. But in the last year and a half, Whoopi Goldberg and Jay Bayhart have wasted the whole shows insulting me and trying to stop my run for the presidency. Look where I am now. The ratings on The View have dropped drastically. And trust me, there is no joy and there is absolutely no whoopee left on the view. You girls have to go, you do all the talking. Let other people talk. It's called the view. To Robert De Niro, who has insulted me a lot, even as the president, I have one question for you. Do you know who I am? Damn it, Tenero, I'm the President of the United States of America. To Seth Myers, I don't even know why I mentioned this guy's name. Nobody knows him. He used to have that little gig on Saturday Night Live. It wasn't too bad. I've never been a fan. Didn't never, never thought he was talented. And now he's got his own show and the ratings are plummeting. I'm surprised the guy's even working there. I thought he would have been fired a long time ago, but he's been yapping his mouth off about me too. Seth, let me ask you a question. The fact of it is, you look about 12 years old, and do you think before you die, years down the road, you'll ever look like even something close to being a man? I didn't think so either. Now, I want to make a little shout out to our neighbors on the north. I know I was a little rough on them. So call them a uh, few names. And also threaten to build a border. Well, that's out the window. The problems in Canada have nothing to do with the Canadian people. The Canadian people are wonderful, and I feel bad for them now. Their prime minister was down here in Washington a few weeks ago. Didn't know him that well, I was courteous to him, and he left. And since then I found out a lot of stuff. What I found out, 
is Justin Castro Trudeau has been giving all the Canadian money to everybody else in the world that's not Canadian. And if somebody doesn't stop him, the voters, he's going to bankrupt that wonderful country above us called Canada. And I certainly hope that doesn't happen. Now, you might have noticed uh, a, a kinder, gentler president, a kinder and gentler Donald Trump in the last while. And I would say that started when I was uh, graciously invited. My wife, Malana, and I were graciously invited to the White House by the Obamas who treated us thoroughly. And I remember that day and I, I took a turn. Because before that, the pre-war, when I was arguing and yelling out things, maybe overdoing it a little bit with Hillary, and talking about Hillary, just for a second, has anybody seen the Clintons? Secret Service told me that since my inauguration, the Clintons have been hiding under a big rock in Little Rock. They should stay there. Anyways, I have changed my tone, but there's one thing I won't change. The security of this nation, in a world that we live in today, we must at least make it an honor to come into our country, and you must be at least back-checked. Look at our neighbors to the north. The neighbors to the north Trudeau is allowing people in one part of the border, out west in Canada, simply to cross the border into Canada without any checks and then they're on government funds like he's given to the rest of the world. He's got to go. He's got to go. Lastly, I'm very proud to announce, and some of you might have heard this, the signing of a bill that in the future, It'll probably be a few years after my second term. We're going to launch a manned mission to Mars. It's going to be crewed. They're going to go up there probably 2030. And the reason that I'm initiating that is simply this. The people on this planet, not so much in the second world countries, but in the more technical countries like ourselves, the United States of America, in China, Russia, North Korea, there's so much pollution going on. We've destroyed the ozone layer. We have animals, we have insects that are extinct. And I know nobody really cares about that. But guess who's next? Bees and frogs are in the decline in the world. That should show you something, that should tell you something. We're killing this planet, and that's why I'm authorizing us to go to Mars. So we can get the experience, because we'll have to go further to another galaxy and find some place that we all can live, or our children can live and our grandchildren can live. Because it's probably too late now, but let's just hope for the best. That's it for tonight. I'd like to thank everybody for joining in and everybody here in the room. Thanks for being quiet. You're a lot better than those reporters that come in. They don't know when to shut up. God bless America.